Hello everyone. So welcome to our math tutorial. Today we're gonna discuss about the domain of rational functions. So if you're ready, pag-usapan na natin. Okay. So what is the domain of a function? And sabi rito, domain of a function is the set of a numbers that can go into a given functions. It is the set of x values you can put into any given equation. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga values of x, a number or expressions, na pwede mong ilagay dun sa equation. Ang problema, pagdating sa rational functions, meron tayong condition. Pagdating kasi sa rational functions, nakasulat kasi siya sa fraction form. So, yung itsura niya is f of x is equals to p of x over q of x. So, we know that in a fraction form, yung denominator dapat hindi maging 0. That's why our q of x should not be equal to 0. So, in determining the domain, first thing you have to do is you have to find the restriction. The restriction is where a function can be undefined. So, ang concentrate natin is yung sa denominator. Okay, so let's say we are looking for the domain of the following function and our first function is f of x equals to 1 over x and then we're looking for the restricted value of x. So pag sinabi natin restricted value of x, ito yung value of x na magiging undefined yung ating function. So kailan ba magiging undefined yung ating rational function? So kung babalikan natin yung yung form ng rational function it is written in the f of x is equals to n of x over d of x where d of x or our denominator should not be equal to 0 kasi nga magiging undefined so for this example our value of x that makes your function undefined is equals to 0 okay since the restricted value of x is 0 therefore the domain of the function f of x equals 1 over x is the set of all real numbers except 0. So, ibig sabihin, lahat pwedeng ilagay or isubstitute except 0. So, yun yung domain natin. Okay, so for our next example, we have g of x is equal to x over x minus 1. So, the question is, what number will make your function undefined? Okay, so since every time we're looking for the domain of a rational function, we're always focused on the denominator. So, what you're going to do with your denominator is you have to equate it into 0. So, we have x minus 1 equal to 0 will be x is equal to 1. So, this value of x, which is 1, will make your function g of x undefined. Therefore, the domain of g of x is the set of all real numbers except 1. So, pwede lahat, wag lang yung 1 kasi magiging undefined yung function. Okay, for our next example, we have h of x is equal to x plus 1 over x squared minus 4. So again, we're going to focus on our denominator. So we have x squared minus 4 will be equated to 0. And then transpose negative 4 to the other side. So it will make x squared equals 4. And then getting the square root both side, we have x is equals to positive and negative 2. So this positive and negative 2 are the restriction values of our function because it will make our function undefined. So therefore, since there are the restricted values, therefore, the domain of h of x are all real numbers except negative 2 and 2. Okay, for our last example, we have i of x is equal to 2 plus x over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so ganun pa rin. The question is, what values of x that will make this function undefined? So still we are focused on the denominator. And our denominator is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. 
and then what we're going to do is we have to equate this to zero then after we equate to zero we have to look for the value of x to do that we have to factor this quadratic equations for us to get the values of x which is the restriction of this rational function as you can see the factors of this quadratic equation is x plus 1 times x plus 1 and then after that you have to equate the factors into 0 and then solve for x so the value of x that makes your function undefined is negative 1 therefore the domain of the function are all real numbers except negative 1 Okay, so natapos na yung ating video lesson with regards to domain of a rational function. If you think this video lesson helped you, you please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye!